Welcome back, everyone. Yes, yes, another video. It is such a shame that uh, BBC, as high and mighty that they claim to be, could be so condescending to the extent of conniving with the likes of Ricky, Bisola Johnson, Agomo, and other detractors. detractors. Uh, here in this uh, video made by Ricky of uh, Church Reality TV, you will see how she, out of, he, he out of shame, uh, deleted some videos that has to do with the interview uh, BBC held, which are, the, let me call them liars, those who connived and uh, conspired against T.B. Joshua. Out of shame, he had to bring down uh, some of those uh, videos. Here in this video now, he's trying to defend himself. But with every single word that comes out of, him, of his mouth, he shows how dumb and stupid he, uh, he actually is. Watch with me and uh, let us uh, analyze this together. Uh, with CSBC. You guys will remember that when I made those videos, I did mention there were a promo run around the same time for the BBC. The BBC guy that talked to me and said, hey, we're bringing out this. And so the day before we did an interview, we recorded, we edited, and then we had the videos out. So those videos were literally promo material for that documentary. Now, those videos are not there. You might go to the videos and you'll see blank pictures. I'll also explain why I do that on all my video, on some of the videos actually. And so I've explained it before. It's not a mystery. <laughs> okay? I, I, when I remove a video, I don't just make it go away. No? You will be able to see that there was a video here. It is no longer there. I don't hide that I removed the video. I don't do that. And so there is a reason why I do that. There's a reason why I also tell others not to do that, not to just remove a video. But on this particular video, I want to explain why did I remove the video. I want to give you a verse for something we, me and you should look out for and be careful about. And so it's the reality show with the daily Christian commentary videos. And so I removed the videos because uh, there was a certain narrative that was running around the BBC documentary video. And so, and also, by the way, the reason why I'm making this video right now is that Sise posted a video about the passing of her daughter. And so I'll leave that video in the description if you want to go watch it. I haven't watched it, so I don't know what she's saying there. And so I think she just posted it like a few hours. I don't have lights right now. I'm using phones. You can see in order to create a front a main light and a headlight. And so, and I'm using the, pow uh, the small power station to power the camera. And so, I'm making this video now because she is now talking about it. So I thought, okay, since she's talking about the person or the daughter, let me come out and make a video and explain why I removed the video. First of all, why did I not just, it, the videos are not completely deleted. You just see like five seconds left or something like that. The reason for that, I've explained it, an algorithm reason. Uh, when you remove the video completely, you delete the data that the video holds. And so the people that watch, the watch time that was accumulated, all those things. You lose all of those details. And so uh, you might have reached new people in that video. And so, I don't advise people deleting entire videos. Uh, yes, you can delete them, it's, it's, your, it's your thingy, but for me, I would not advise it. Before I used to just delete the entire video, I don't do that. Please stop beating about the I bush. Just, just cut the go entire to the video point. out and then leave a portion so that it can retain the metadata. YouTube uses recommendation on watch time and uh, the video that they watch history uh, that they have. So like a video that they watched on a certain topic to, to create a recommendation. You know, YouTube creates a three list thing and whatnot. If you read the algorithm studies and stuff like that, you'll find what I'm talking about. And so you have to find the YouTube manual. So, so those are a little bit hard. YouTube papers, they're called YouTube papers, algorithm papers. And so you'll, you'll hear the information that I'm talking about. YouTube uses the watch history in order to make a recommendation. And the person, since they've watched your video, they have you in their history. And so I don't delete a video because of that. 
So it, it leaves that link inside. That's number one. Now I just, I don't hide that I remove a video. I just think I just cut it, change the thumbnail to show that it's not, there's no video anymore. Now, I'm not trying to hide. I saw that there were people that were trying to make a uh, kind of like entire conspiracies, like we are the evidence of scorn is making it. I'm like, since when do you get to dictate a motive? You know, the Bible doesn't, we can't do that. You can't do that. You cannot dictate a motive. That's, that's wrong, straight up. Okay, we can't dictate. There are people that, of course, their motives can become clear. But I just deleted the video I made. I made the video, I removed the video. I didn't even ask the BBC guys. They asked me, Ricky, we try uh, this video. People can't find it. And they kind of get those messages that, hey, the video of the promo is not appearing. And then I told them, yeah, I, I removed it. And so even they didn't know, okay? I removed the video myself because I thought, let me not, let me try and take away that audience that's watching and it's creating a narrative towards her. So the woman can mourn her child. Simple. There's nothing deep. There's no evidence that Scorn was releasing that maybe delete the videos. You are literally creating. Oh, they did, decided to, to believe. Man, don't get off on your high horses, okay? Yeah, I'll relax with that. Now, why am I saying that? It's because uh, Second Timothy chapter number three, verse number one up until three. In the last days, people, perilous times will come. Uh, men will be lovers of themselves, it says. I highlight that one. Uh, proud, boasters, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unholy, and uh, unthankful. Then it puts this verse. Without natural affection. Without natural affection. Then the last one it says, despise us of them that do good. So in the last days, people will be, people will be without natural affection. You'll see people without natural affection. And two, haters of them that do good. That period you would literally take out a video showing doctrinally why King Joshua's teaching was wrong. And people will come out hating you that presented a biblical teaching and not realizing the, the wrong because they like the, the mandem and whatnot and stuff. <laughs> and so you are literally, I was literally looking at people that are not willing to accept them that do good, despise us of them that do good. So when you present doctrine, the Bible, remember to, Tim, to, to, to Timothy, Paul says, the one who reminds people of good doctrine shall be highly esteemed. He says, so that you would be a good servant towards the Lord. That's how Paul kind of puts it. That, you know, if uh, watch over your doctrine and them that hear you. You know? And he speaks of this. It's a study so that you will show yourself approved. So if a person has not shown himself to be approved, meaning teaching false doctrine, I, consciously or what not, teaching false doctrine, I spoke about the subject matter of salvation. The man didn't understand salvation. All this. So you were literally seeing people that were despising good teaching to side with the person that was clearly wrong on doctrine. So can you at least acknowledge that? No, they can. And so since we are talking about that subject, the area of no, without natural affection didn't shock me because you, you, you know where these people come from or the direction they're going. This was the reason why I removed the video. These are people that hate good doctrine. You, 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 you can't, there's nothing you can say. It wasn't all these mochis, oh, he's seen the evidence. I've never cared for anything to, to do with the so-called evidence that Scorn publishes. I've refuted. Every single time there was one that came out, I dis, dis, disputed. I spoke about, I spoke about, I spoke. It was not all of that stuff. But people created a narrative. And I was like, hey, boy, where do they do that at? <laughs> Biblically, you're going to create a motive? That's the thing that the Bible warns us, that in the last day you see people that literally do not have a natural affection. A person loses their child. They won't let a woman rest. So I took down the video so that she can mourn her child, you know? And that was the right decision. I, I wouldn't change thingy. YouTube punished me heavily. 
they killed the recommendation like crazy, <laughs> you know, and, and everything. But you'd rather have that so that another person mourn their child than to have videos up. I, I, I don't, I'm not one of those people that just believe this keep up thing. If there was error, I would have come out and I would have said it. Uh, but there wasn't error in there. The, the videos were just mainly just a representation for what the BBC documentary was going to be about. And so that's why we removed the videos, because the woman had lost her child. Simple. No motive. People were painting their own images, their own ideas. None of that. And Basalani, I wanted to remind of that verse because so that we can we can draw. Basalani, when people start dictating a motive when there isn't any, okay? We've talked about people who, who there is a motive and you see it, okay? In that case, it's clear. But for me, I just deleted the video. That's all. I okay. Uh, uh, let me address you directly. Ricky, since you say you've uh, chosen to uh, accept lies over truth, first of all, stop twisting the Bible in your own favor. You just directed a uh, Bible uh, uh, verse now or verses now that has to do with you and your character. First of all, you said that people will love lies and turn against uh, good. They will call good evil and evil good. That's what uh, uh, the, that is the exact thing you BBC. Disola and other uh, uh, liars have been doing. You've taken the goodness in Tim Joshua and you've turned it to evil. You've chosen to ignore all the good things this man stood for, and you just portray the evil that is cooked up in your in your in, in, in your God-forsaken heart. Let me uh, tell you something, uh, Ricky. You call yourself uh, Church Reality TV. Which Church Reality are you actually? On uh, which side are you? On God's side or the church of Satan. Because if you're on God's side, you will, be, you will not be biased in your judgment. Now, you took, out, took down these videos and you are giving lame excuses that you took them down because uh, you want Cicely to grieve. Have you forgotten Mrs. Evelyn Joshua is also grieving her husband's uh, demise? Did you give her a chance to grieve? No, you turned against her right from the inception. Everything that comes out of, every good thing that comes out of that church is never good before you. You are quoting the Bible now. You, you've turned against Sisley many times before now. And then you come back again and then you, you say a different thing. This is where Bissola is even better than you. Bissola sticks to her lies. She says a lie and she sticks to it even though she messes herself up every single time she tries to defend that lie. But you, you are just too lukewarm. We don't know where you, where, on whose ground you, you are on. I used to respect you initially, but, man, you lost that respect a long time ago. I'm not a patient man when it comes to the use of words. I am I'm a fast talker, quick talker, but I go straight to the point. Why are you making this video now? Why are you trying to defend yourself when you know you've already messed up? You know and you knew from the beginning that uh, Cicely's stories were, 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 were unfounded. The entire story about BBC was not true. You knew that. You were conniving with BBC. You just exposed yourself now that BBC called you before they even brought out the video, the, 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 the documentary. They were in touch with you. You people were exchanging words. They even told you, okay, they were coming out. And you said you made a promo for BBC. A promo for what? Did you find out from both sides before you decided to make that promotion or that promo or whatever you said you call it? Out of shame, you took down the, the video and now you are still trying to defend yourself. Be a man and stand on your ground, stand and say, okay, yes, I took down this video because I knew, I know I made a mistake. Or don't, or don't, don't just lie about, about Cicely, mourning a child. You just said that you didn't watch the video of, of, of Cicely, so you don't know what it's all about. How did you know she's trying to talk about the child? That's a question I want you to answer. And why are you using the Bible? Don't grieve the Holy Spirit, because if you want to stand on lies, keep God away from that. If you want to be truth to yourself, then you can bring the Bible. But the moment you open that Bible, make sure you, 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 you say the truth. You understand that? If you don't, then I'm sorry I can't help you. I said nothing. I just deleted mm. the video. Nothing. So how do you have a motive? And then the motive is that all oh, the evidence is overwhelming. What evidence? Now, you talk about motive. 
that we are dictating your, your, your motive. Isn't that the same thing you all have been doing to TB Joshua? Every single thing he does, you people come to your own calculation and create your, your own motive. Isn't that exactly what you did to TB Joshua? Answer that question, Ricky. I'm sure you can't answer that question. None of you, you conniving, I, 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 I don't know what to call you. I don't want to, to be insulting on, on, on social media. But you all came together creating a motive. In your own little head, you called Tim Joshua a rapist. You've called him a murderer. You've called him a, a, a charlatan. You've called him a fake pastor. You came up with different names, which that man was, was not. My wife, Ricky, was head of cancer, stage three cancer, and that cannot, can never go away. No one can make that fade away because it took the host of heaven to attend to me on that particular day. My case was before God that same day, right inside that church there, and God came through. With one touch from the man of God, my wife got healed. It's been almost 14 years now, and she's still fine. What is fake in that? But you came up with your own narrative that everything in that church is staged. When you say that, you are insulting my intelligence. You are insulting the God that I serve, and I will never accept that. Thank you.